what is up everyone this is Gosu here from Seren Art so today I have something short for you okay we are going to design this typography effect in Pizzlelab right here so without further ado let's jump into it good so what we have to do first is to set the background for our work and I'm going to tap on this icon over here and go to from gallery right because I want to use the image as the background for the whole work so I've got an image here I'm just going to pick it up okay so I'm going to leave this particular image uh, in the video description so that I can also go ahead and download it right so after selecting it I'll just tap on the check mark and this is how it will appear and after this we can go ahead and enter the test that we want to enter so probably I'll enter the test like road to success right so this is my first video in 2022 so I'm just setting it over here this is the road to success right everything you do you will be successful in it provided you put in the required work okay so this is what I'm going to have over here and I'm going to change the font okay I'm going to use Montserrat or any other font which is like open some some yeah something like that open sans right good I think this is okay and after this I'll increase the size of the font so let's say 105 there about okay all right I think this isn't bad so I'll just reduce it a little bit uh, okay 105 that way and after this I have to you know change the alignment okay so I'm going to use the align center right like this after this I have to go to 3d rotate guys just follow this step it is this is very very simple guys so come to the 3d rotate over here and rotate the earth as is to uh, let's say a reasonable value let's say 60 there about okay let's see how it's going to look right so this is how it's going to look if you put it at 60 now if you also want to add more effect to it you can tap on a perspective tool right assuming this is not okay for you you don't like it this way okay note the rotation angle for this one was 60 right that's the x axis is 60 we did not touch the y axis if you touch the y axis you're going to distort the whole thing right so i want to bend down the top side of this particular test right that's why i'm going to tap on the perspective tool right so I'll just pick the perspective to then enable it after enabling it I'll just you know bring this one to the middle like this do the same thing over here and what is most important over here is for you to make sure that what every adjustment is in alignment do not make one side like this and the other side like this no it's not going to work out right so you have to make sure that they are in equal proportion right yeah, in, in equal proportion for you to get the best result out of these guys so take notes this should be realistic right so adjusting with this pe perspective tool may take you some time but once you are done with it you'll be glad you did it right so let's see how this one is going to look like good so this is what we are going to have over here and this is pretty much cool right look at how the effect is showing so 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 much realistic so guys this is a simple tutorial that can guide you through how to come up with this kind of effect in pizza lab and i hope you do enjoy this tutorial and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my youtube channel turn on notifications so that each and every time i upload a new video you get to receive notification from youtube right so i'm going to see you in the next video bless up